Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily gospel reading and reflection. Today's gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 28 to 31. Peter began to say to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age. Houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. But many that are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first? On the surface, the statement is an oxymoron, something similar to, the shortest will be the tallest. But if we look closely at what it means to be the least, or last, according to Christ, the aforementioned oxymoronic statement starts to make more sense. By least, Christ is referring to humility. In other words, for the one who is the least arrogant or haughty will encounter greatness. And here's why. Arrogance, pride, etc. are pretenses created by the ego to cover up any deep-seated insecurities and vulnerabilities one might be harboring. And by doing away with all this, that is, being last and putting our faith first, that we are indeed created in the image and likeness of God, the authentic and sincere self begins to emerge. Because God created all of us with greatness in mind that transcends familial and national boundaries. In essence, all of us are unique masterpieces of God and have no reason to be insecure about anything. But through sin and fear, we fall away from this truth and forget the innate worth and greatness of our being. So we try to cover it up by trying to be someone we are not. So let us constantly remind ourselves to lessen the false selves that do not serve us, and increase the greatest that the God has ordained for each and every one of us. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and great day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.